The boss is back. Rajni Khan's reportedly India's highest paid actor is back with Kusailan. The Tamil and Telugu versions of the film released this week. The film has already been a blockbuster in Malayalam and is being remade in Hindi as Billu Barber starring Shah Rukh Khan. Guest critic Sudesh Kamath caught Kusailan first day first show in Chennai. What's your take on the film Sudesh? Well, first of all Kusailan is not the regular superstar formula film. There are no powerful adversaries, no challenges, no revenge, no riches to rags to riches character graph, and a Rajnikanth film without a villain is something we haven't seen in God knows how long. But Kusailan is faithful to the Malayalam original Kada Parimbol with an extended comedy track by Vadivel, and superstar movie elements are inserted into the film under the pretext of movie within a movie. Though we are never really sure what is the movie he's shooting for. Sometimes it's Annamala two, sometimes Chandramukhi two, and sometimes Kusailan. And since the pace of the original is already slow, these elements further slacken the pace. The lines between real and real blur as superstar Rajnikanth plays superstar Ashok Kumar, and frankly, you can't tell the difference. Nor does the director want you to know. Performance-wise, superstar is a little subdued because he has to play himself, and we realize that his screen persona is larger than his real self. That it's like watching a tiger put inside a cage at the circus. We so want him to break free and send bad guys flying to outer space, but instead, all we get is superstar flashing a smile all through, except the climax when he really makes you cry, along with a restrained Pasupati who underplays the role to match Srinivasan's subtlety in the original. To infuse a little masala, director P Vasu unleashes glamour in the form of Nayanthara cavorting in the rain to keep the front benchers happy. But by genre, it's a sentimental film targeted at women and family audiences. Besides, like superstar himself says in the film, watching a film being shot is not as exciting as watching a film itself. And Kusailan is a soppy drama, and the shooting of the superstar film is just the backdrop. For people closely following his political ambitions, let me just say that a superstar distances himself from the political punchlines from his past films, saying that he was only an actor saying his lines, and he hastens to add that he does not have to answer to anybody about whether or not he will do something about politics in the future. Overall, Kusailan, though slow, is extremely watchable. If you forget all the hype, go for it. If you're a sucker for sentiment, let the taps flow. Bring out the hankies. Back to Anupama. Thank you, Sudesh, for your review. It's time for a break now, but don't go away. Because after the break, we introduce a new section called Director's Pick, in which a leading director will share a favorite film with you. So stay tuned to picture this.